First, you need to get there. I flew into Dubai from Mauritius on one of Emirates Airbus A380s. Welcome and hello at It's Never Too Far Away. In this video I'm connecting in Dubai between two Emirates flights. Arrival was at Pier C, the one built first when Dubai's transformation into a global hub was initiated in the 2000s. Departure was from Pier B, the first of the two more modern gigantic mega hub structures. I have passed through Dubai numerous times and, like this time, it is quite usual to spend some hours there during the middle of the night. There are times more busy and less busy, but this hub is certainly never quiet at any of the 24 hours of each day. All three piers, C, B and A, are surrounded by airplane gates on all sides. The oldest of the three has a different layout from the two others. Only Pier C has this wide open space which strikes with its sheer size and very big height. Arriving passengers are guided along an upper floor very open corridor quite close beneath the roof and for transfers a security check has to be passed. Once that is done, escalators take you down to departures level. In the center, PSC has moving walking belts in each direction lined by seats. To both sides are gates, which offer lots of seating to accommodate large aircraft departures. In the central area, there are also restaurants and lounges on the sides. The floors above host a transit hotel. Dubai Airport very proudly boasts a superb and vast shopping experience. In PSC, most shops have their own floor below departures level. We all have to use them, so a quick word about the restrooms. They are big, but in such a mega hub they need to be even bigger. In the past many stations were notoriously out of order, but during this visit actually that was not the case. I made my way toward the end of the pier where it is connected to Pier B. Here there's more shopping and food. Also, at this place, there is a box-shaped extension with bus gates. These are the gates C36 till C50. You see me approaching the entrance here on the left. Straight ahead is the connection to Pier B. When it comes to the bus gates, a very significant proportion of all departures and of course arrivals is handled from remote parking stands. The bus rides can take 10 minutes easily and the buses for economy class passengers offer almost no seats. Even though this bus gate extension is far from fancy, it has one thing that all three peers clearly lack easily accessible windows with views to the apron and both active runways. Even though this is by far the least fancy part of the airport, during daytime visits you can see me spending one hour here just for that view. And now let's head into Pier B. If you thought Pier C is big, you are right but Pier B is even bigger. Only it is less obvious because its different layout does not really show it. 
peers B and A share the same layout. You have the gates along both sides, but the shopping is located in the center on the same floor with a long alley guiding the passengers through it like in a mall. One thing I don't like so much, the gates offer many seats, but they are located one level down and they can only be accessed once boarding time nears. Otherwise, on departure level, there are sometimes not enough seats during peak times. These narrow walkways are shared with e-carts that transport passengers who need assistance. Several upper floors have lounges and hundreds of transit hotel rooms. Now heading from gate side to the shopping area. Besides all these shops, there are also areas with restaurants. Do not expect them to be cheap. And also, during peak time, it is very difficult to find a table. The ceiling here is very high. The pier is so huge and the elevator to the hotel is easily overlooked. In the middle of the long pier there is some kind of central plaza. There are escalators down to the monorail which runs over to pier A. Much further below, there is another floor handling the flow of passengers. It is here where you can best feel the true size of this pier. After spending about an hour in one of the lounges, I was heading toward the far end of the pier. My gate was already open and boarding in progress soon after. This is behind boarding pass control going down to the gate. Time to board another Emirates Super Jumbo for a 3 a.m. departure to London. Thanks a lot for watching.